how to make a spooky noise in Audacity using the pulse stretch effect. So first what we're going to do is get a little test audio file. So I'm going to go ahead and record something here real quick. Testing, 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 stop. Okay, so I've recorded my little audio file here. Let's go ahead and listen to it so we can hear what it sounds like before we apply the pulse stretch effect. Testing, 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 stop. Okay, now we're going to go up to effect here after we hit control A to select the entire track. Right, and of course hit select and then select all. We'll go ahead and select on the effect tab and then go down until we get to the pulse stretch option. Okay, from here we have a couple different options. We can modify the stretch factor um, and then we could also modify the time resolution. Um, I believe the original default settings that it comes with um, make it a pretty spooky noise, but feel free to tinker with as you see fit to make the desired sound that you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and select on OK. And give it a second, it'll apply it. And as you can see, it's stretched out the track by 10 times. If we go ahead and hit play now, we'll hear this spooky noise that it's made. So as you can see, you can kind of make a spooky noise if you throw in some background noise in there as well. You can make up a really, really terrifying scene. So that is how you use the pulse stretch effect in Audacity.